Right, since the last time you came here, the laurel's been cleared out and extracted. It's now opened back up. We've got the public back in and using the dingle. We've actually got a, a rope swing that's been installed further down and the children have been using it and playing on that. Ben Daniel's in again today. He's doing all the tree work and he's clearing out the dead wood from the canopy and he will be doing a few reductions on some of the trees. Um, he's trying to balance this the best that he can with the wildlife that's inhabiting it. People will, if they come down and have a look, they'll see that we, we haven't done vast amounts of work. The, the trees are hopefully not really obvious that we've done vast amounts of work to them. And that's actually quite important. If, if, if we take huge amounts off the trees, it tends to be counterproductive. Um, the tree is far more vulnerable to, to attack by its pathogens, mainly fungi. Um, and if you like the tree, if you prune a tree very hard, it gets this double whammy of A, having some very big wounds, which it then has to heal, but also because you've removed the smaller branches which carry the leaves, it won't have any leaves which it uses to make its food. So you're not only wounding it, you're starving it as well. And so trees that are pruned very heavily, although in the short term you probably make them safer, in the long term, they're probably actually far less safe than if you if you if you prune them lightly. So we've been coming down down, down most of the trees on the edge here, and uh, just pruning them, uh, trying to make this compromise between uh, reducing their wind resistance as much as we can, um, but without uh, butchering them to the point at which, in the longer term, they become unsafe because we've pruned them so heavily.